As New Orleans struggles to rebuild from Hurricane Katrina, Randall Pinkston has the story of a program helping to restore the soul of the Crescent City. Here's his Sunday Journal. Remember when the first thing that came to mind at the mention of New Orleans was music? Music. Music everywhere. Pouring from the clubs and the streets and the schools. Parading proudly during Mardi Gras. Bright and brassy and bold. Then, of course, came Katrina. There are only two ways right now that you can travel if you're in the city of New Orleans. The windows of opportunity to take those routes may be closing as we continue to see floodwaters rising. A flood of water that nearly drowned those unmistakable New Orleans sounds. That first Mardi Gras after the storm, there were parades and bees and floats as the city struggled to regain its rhythm. But something was missing. There was one New Orleans-based marching band. With many of its schools closed and students dispersed all around the country, New Orleans' high-stepping school bands had fallen silent. In the wake of Katrina, school spirit was as battered as the few band instruments left behind. The silence actually spoke volumes about the situation at that time. For I'll Bill say. Taylor, executive director of the Tipitinas Foundation, that silence was a call to action. Music is inseparable from New Orleans. You take that away, then what? you don't have New Orleans anymore. Tipitinas, one of New Orleans' most famous jazz venues, decided to use music to make music, reaching out to one of the city's most famous music institutions. That's Domino. An impressive list of music legends also lent their voices to the cause. Among them, Paul McCartney, Elton John, Randy Newman, and Bonnie Raitt. Nation, we're so happy to get these instruments to the school band kids. Their CD tribute to the music of Fats Domino will raise more money for the cause. It's a beautiful thing. All of these new? All new, brand new. So far, the Tipitinas Foundation has raised a million dollars, which means hundreds and hundreds of bright new instruments, trumpets and drums, and glistening saxophones. It was like, it was a miracle. Like every band director in New Orleans, John Summers had to start over after Katrina, rebuilding music programs and recruiting new band members. Those gleaming new instruments were the perfect magnet. We didn't have to worry about anybody missing practice, I can tell you that much. It, that was one of the blessings. Okay, group, listen up. I think the most important thing about music is to be able to read music. At the Sophie B. Wright Middle School, there was no music program at all. We had no band instruments to speak of. One or two, three instruments that I was able to get from donations and what have you was not enough. But this year, says music director Paul Batiste, children are knocking on our doors every day to join the program. We're growing. Play, man. Of course, it's not just about the music. It's about belonging, discipline, Feet flat on the floor, sit up straight. Pride. Since you've been taking music, how many people's grades have gone up? Really? You can raise your hand up higher. Raise your hand high if your grade went up. Oh. Joya Barconi doesn't need music to make her a good student. She wants to be a pediatrician. For her, songs have healing powers. What does music mean to you? A way to get out whatever hurts you inside, something that can calm you down if you're not feeling good. Look around New Orleans. In many of the city's devastated neighborhoods, there's no end to the reasons to hurt inside. If not from the memories of two years ago, 
then from the day-to-day -day struggle to survive. I mean, these music programs give kids hope in the city. This is what keeps our kids focused, and it, it makes them proud of their heritage. When they pick up a trumpet, they're, they're, they're walking in the footsteps of Louis Armstrong. This past Wednesday, on the second anniversary of that terrible day, some of New Orleans' high-stepping high school bands gathered outside Tipitina's to march 